All right, what up, party people? You tell me what's happening in your world today. Hey, listen, I'm riding around with my partner and uh, my buddy, and uh, we were kicking back, chilling, swerving like George Jones on a dirt road. You know what I mean? Alrighty, look at that. There is activity out here. Uh, we come across this graveyard out here in the middle of nowhere. Miranda Randy Box. Wow, Randy, you're an old one. My name is Kip Anderson. I've got my partner, my buddy, my get in trouble mate in the truck with me robert and i'm coming out here to investigate and find out what was going on with you and somebody has vandalized that one mr broach or roach i'd say william 56 alabama rangers are you here? I mean nothing but respect, George. George Body. 1826. You was 90 years old, brother. And you're 90 years of age. Did you ever figure that you'd come back as a ghost? Ooh, May 22nd. You was 90 years old exactly, wasn't you? 94. No, 90. Mr. Body? I don't know who your neighbor was here. This is a, Suzanne? Susan, 1871 to 18... Sorry, let me clean your grave off a little bit. Do you like that? Do you like that I'm doing that? Getting into where I can read it? I don't mean disrespect by it. 1907. You was 36 when you passed away, Suzanne. Did you pass away in childbirth? Oh, look at the cotton stalks. Oh. Yeah, let's walk on out here and see what else is out here. What? This is going to be a child. M.P. Kelly. Born May, died April. Uh, 82, you were two years old, you poor baby. May God rest your soul. <clears throat> Precious Lamb. Oh, Lamb of God, I come. Jackson L. Summerhill. There's. Are you here, Jackson? O.F. Summerhill. O.F., are you here? Come touch that meter on your headstone if you are. Please, sir. I'm just out here documenting. I know it's been... Thank you, sir. I know it's been a long time since anybody's been out here and talked to y'all like this, if they ever have. But uh, if you'll light that meter up, I have a wireless communication device we call it a telephone and it's not going to harm you you can come talk to it come touch it neither is the k2 meter it's just to let me know that you're around me it senses your presence jason summerhill summerhill how are you jason Mary, 
I see you. William, I see you. Are y'all together? Eighteen thirty five to eighteen eighty six. She was fifty one years old. Or they were. Wife of. Yep. You was fifty one years old. What was your first name? J.F. Summerhill. J.F. 1835. J.F., we come a long ways. I'll be right back. I gotta go talk to my partner. Alright, ghosty boys. I went and talked to my partner up there. and he He's feeling too oogie-doogie about getting out. Uh, you know, y'all know Robert's kind of a sensitive, right? He, uh, he grew up with a mother and a grandmother that was into voodoo. Now, I'm looking for snakes is why I'm looking down so much. And I'm actually raising my foster grants. H. Shelton Oliver. 17, 1855 to 1932. Sluton B, his wife. You're also buried here. Oh, your whole family. Henry Oliver and Albert Oliver. 1877, William Oliver, oh, there's three. August 1875, that was after the war was over, or after he got home, is whenever he was born, a year afterwards. Albert was born in 77, and William was born December 24th of 77. One died in 78. That was a year old. Albert was stillborn. And Henry Oliver was 75. 10 was 14. God, there was a lot of tragedy in your family. And I'm so sorry. The Oliver family, y'all are the whole reason to do a whole bit, a whole thing, a whole clip. All right, we got another rebel grave. Company K, 29th Mississippi Infantry. James Wright. James, are you here? James, are you here? Well, hello, James. Come touch my meter some more. We saw it. Go ahead. You can touch it. It's not going to hurt you, sir. There is no harm here. I don't plan to harm any of you at all. I just wish to come out and document that your cemetery is here and let people know they might need to come attend to it. Let me get over here to this other big one, y'all. Hey, look, there's a woodman in the world back there. Oh, uh, let me get back here. I, I'm walking over graves. I'm walking all over graves. They're unmarked. Now see, these were put here whenever graves faced forward. The tombstones faced forward, overlooking the grave. Thomas Daniel born 1823 died in 85 so 85 that'd be 262 uh, Mr. Daniel are you here with us do you have anything to say to us you have a beautiful tombstone here I don't know what you were in the pillar or the community Sorry for standing on your grave. There's a lamb. There's a child born here, buried here. 
All right, if there's any spirits that wish to come touch this meter and see the lights that my age can provide, the flashy lights, and you'll be the one making them flash. Still got to look for snakes. This is a whole plot, too. Eighteen ninety one. What was that? Eighteen ninety one. So that would be nine, seventeen, and ten. Twenty six years old. That's Ken folk right there. That's Anderson. Another Confederate grave. Thank you, sir. That's a woodman of the world right there. 1877, so that'd be 33, 58 years old. Uh, John, my grandfather was a woodman of the world in Alabama. His name was Millard Bogle. And Mr. Bailey, thank you again for your service. All right, ghosty boy. Being here during the day, it gives off a slight vibe, but it's not that big of a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, come back uh, at night, it might be something different. Lewisome? That'd be 4, 24, 25, 26. That person was 26. See, that just goes to prove that whenever they got sick back in those... Could have sworn I heard somebody say something. Thank you for letting me walk through your cemetery. I thank you for your time uh, today. Uh, if I can, if I could, I'd try to talk to you. All I have right now is my phone, and I can't do a necro without the phone. So, uh... Let me do a necro myself and see if I hear anything, and I'll let y'all know if I'm coming back here or not.